Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a content plan to grow your small YouTube gaming channel. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to discover the secret to getting more views on your YouTube gaming videos, then listen up. Click on the link in the card in the top right hand corner of the video to get started now. That link will take you to this page where you can download this free ebook that will show you how to use video SEO to bring more views to your gaming videos. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And I've talked about content planning again and again and again in multiple videos and live streams and whatnot but i wanted to put this in one specific video so anyone who wants to learn how to create a content plan and you know plan their content on their channel will know how to do it in one specific place now what is content planning so let me quickly break down the basics of content planning a very very basic content plan is a schedule that's you know deciding when you're going to put out videos on your channel so that's basically a schedule but it's also a content plan because you're planning content so let's say you've got five days where you put out videos and you say you're going to put out videos from monday to friday that is a schedule that's a minimum viable content plan really now what you want to do to get a little bit more advanced with your content plan is you want to plan the type of content that you're going to be putting out and you want to have a specific goal that you're working towards that is a good content plan having the type of content that you're going to be putting out knowing when you're going to be putting that out and having a specific goal that you're working towards those three pillars generally make up a good content plan there are also three different types of content that you may or may not know about there's help content which is content that is like how-to videos tutorials videos that will generally help people and rank in search the things that people are searching for that's help content there's also hub content hub content is your vlogs your let's plays your live streams things that people who don't know about you don't care about that is hub content and it's real like you may think that people care about your let's plays but they don't they don't care about your let's plays unless they already know you or they've already found you somehow most people will not come to your channel or will not be searching for your channel and your let's plays when you start out at least maybe when you get a bit bigger and you've been doing a bunch of let's plays then people will be searching you out but when you start out that's why i highly suggest when you start out you do not focus on let's plays because people just don't care you want to make content that will bring people into your channel but you know here's me getting a bit into content planning and then the third thing third type of content is hero content now this is big tentpole content that can bring a lot of traffic to your channel now this is maybe if you get interview with a celebrity or you get a pre-release on a game so you get your review out before everyone else does like when i made when metal gear solid 5 came out and i made a video on the online portion of the game the online multiplayer portion before anyone else did it that was akin to hero content because no one else had the content out there and it brought a lot of traffic into the channel but generally especially if you're a smaller youtuber you're not going to have a lot of hero content on your channel you're not going to have a lot of celebrities or big interviews or you know these things that people are just clamoring over themselves to get to watch like mainly your channel is going to be built up of help content and hub content so we're just going to forget about hero content hero content will come few and far between when you're ready for it like sometimes you'll have some hero content you'll have the opportunity and, and that sort of stuff but generally the majority of your your plan and strategy shouldn't be based around hero content but you could also maybe plan a certain video for certain holidays and, and that sort of stuff and that could be kind of hero content like if you plan a valentine's day video or something and you do a christmas video and, and that sort of stuff but you know unless you've got like really big names to actually make it hero content then it's likely just gonna be you know either help or, or hub content at that point so 
now you know the different types of content you can i think they youtube creator academy have a little article that you can go to that walks you through hero help and hub content if you want to see it written down i may do a written version of this post actually but that the link to that will be in the description below as well as a free content plan template which you should download if you want to get started real quick with your content plan and you don't want to have to structure it all yourself so what do i recommend for a content plan well it really depends on what you want to achieve as i said before your content plan should have a goal that you're working towards and i know a lot of you guys you just want more subscribers and more views which honestly it's not the best those aren't the best metrics to go after but you do want to get attention because attention is useful like getting traffic on your channel is useful no matter what you want what your end goal is you generally want traffic you generally want people to watch your videos so that you can either bring them to selling a product selling your service um becoming a patron you know things that actually pay the bills at the end of the day you'll need traffic to get people who are interested in those sorts of things you can't just you know have no views and and get people to buy your product or become a patron because that's just not the way it works let's say you're putting out five videos a week so you got videos on monday to friday the more videos you put out the better to be honest but let's say you put out videos monday to friday you got five opportunities to work towards any goal that you want to work towards now I'll do an advanced content plan video later where we can talk about how you can use those five opportunities to work towards individual goals, which is basically what I do on my channel. But when you're starting out, you want to work towards one goal. And let's say that goal is growth. So what you do is I'd suggest having four help content videos, search friendly videos that will bring people to your channel. So tutorials, tips, things that people are generally searching for that is the type of stuff that you want to do so around your game whatever game you're playing you should be creating tutorials for newer players and as you get better at the game then you should be creating tutorials for more advanced players and that sort of stuff that is what you should be doing in the beginning stages and do four of those videos a week and then you've got one video that's hub content or it doesn't even have to be a video, maybe it's a live stream. And at that point, you have the opportunity to show your personality and get people interested in you instead of just interested in the information that you're providing. So you have the four videos to bring in traffic to your channel with, with people who are searching for answers to their problems. And then in those videos, you're answering the problems. Hopefully you're doing this around one specific game. If you're doing that, you're going to convert way more people into subscribers because they're going to come for a pro to, for answer to the problem. They're going to see that you have way more videos around that certain game, around those certain problems. And then they know that basically if they need any more answers, you'll likely be the guy to come to. So you do that around one specific game and then you have your hub content. It can be a vlog, it can be a let's play, or it can be a live stream. Uh, basically, anything you want that actually shows your personality and gives people a deeper connection to you that is your hub content and that's your content plan for the week now i'd suggest doing this for about six months if you do this for six months you will see incredible growth on your channel and the thing is because you're making so much help content and so many search friendly videos hopefully you know how to use seo so that you can rank in search if you don't check out my course on how i got to over twenty three thousand subscribers using seo link is in the description below check that out watch those videos you'll learn how to rank your videos and over six months you'll have let's say four videos a week what's that four a month that's 16 16 times six 66 times 6 is i don't know but you're over 60 videos i can't be bothered to do the maths right now i'm not dumb i do know maths i can work it out if i wanted to but we're not doing it it's just a bit less than 42 because 42 7 times 6 now i'm doing it because it's like 36 yeah 6 times 6 is 36 damn i forgot so 36 <laughs> plus 60 
That is 96 videos, 96 videos that will be bringing people to your channel. That will be sucking viewers in. Like people will be searching, okay, let me let me solve this problem. And then your video will be like, ha ha, gotcha. And you'll be dragging people into your channel to get them to watch your videos, to see that you've got a bunch of value. And then they'll also be able to see that, you know, you've got your hub content where they can learn more about you if they want to. So that's a basic strategy. And over, as I said, over six months, you got over 90 videos. That is a lot. That's a lot of videos that are going to continually bring traffic to your channel, continually bring subscribers to your channel forever. Well, as long as the game that you're, you're, you know, focusing on stays alive, like forever, as long as that's in, in there. Um, and that will basically continue to compound as you do more videos but at that point after six months you don't really have to do that anymore you don't really have to focus on that but i'm saying for your first six months if you want to grow you should definitely focus most of your efforts on doing help content at about a four to one ratio there so from monday till thursday you want to do help content and then friday you got some hub content maybe a live stream or something like that that will do great for you trust me implement it and you'll see big differences on your channel way better than doing let's plays and live streams every day because that will take forever to grow but it is possible i'm not saying it's impossible it'll just take way longer now when you get to the six months mark you don't have to continue doing this skewed ratio anymore you don't have to continue with a four to one ratio you don't have to do that you can tone it down a little bit and at that point i'd say go to a three to two ratio so three help content two hub content so you're building more of your personality your personal brand and all that sort of stuff so you're getting people more interested in who you are as a person and building your brand whilst also continually continually putting out value and giving people answers to their questions if you've done this right then within the six months of doing all those videos you will get a bunch of comments of people asking you to make videos on this and that and asking for different tutorials and different videos so you should never like at this point after six months you should not have a day where you're like hmm what kind of video should I make today? Or what video should I make? You should have enough suggestions that you have videos for pretty much ever. And you have so many suggestions that you cannot even do all the videos that you want to do. That is the point that you want to be at. That's the point that I'm at. And I highly suggest you go this route. I, I usually go with this sort of strategy anytime I start playing a new game on my channel. I go really, really heavy into the help content. And then I, you know, do a bit of hub content here and there. But generally, I'm just all all help content on the new game so that i can build that subscriber base who cares about that game and then i can put out the hub content i can play the game and do that sort of stuff and people will actually care to watch it because i've already given them so much value and they've seen that i, I know some stuff about the game so now they want to see me play the game basically so that's generally where you want to go and then you know after six months you go three to two so you, you're you're up in your personal brand and you're bringing that more into the forefront and you're building your branding you're building your audience you're getting people to know and like you instead of just knowing and liking the value that you bring to people and getting people more interested in who you are as a person and yeah that that is basically a basic content plan and then from there if you do this in a year you'll have a thousand subscribers you'll probably be at like 5k or something and then you know i generally say when you're at 10k you can pretty much do what you want provided you've created a business around your channel if you're out here trying to uh trying to chase adsense money then you're doing it wrong <laughs> you're doing it wrong i've got a course on how to make more money with your gaming channel um how to make more money with affiliate marketing on your gaming channel in the description as well as a live stream here on youtube that shows you how to make more money on your gaming channel and i've got like seven different methods that you can be using to make money on your gaming channel don't just focus on adsense that is like the worst thing to do so yeah when you hit about 10k i wouldn't care about growing anymore you've un 
unlocked everything. You don't really need to be like, oh yeah, I really, really want to grow. If you've done things correctly from day one, then you'll have a really, really targeted niche subscriber base. Unlike I did, because I've been a variety channel since <laughs> basically day one. I've been doing a variety of stuff and I've done a lot of experiments. I've done a lot of different types of content. So um, like my 20 whatever thousand subscribers isn't based up of subscribers who want one particular thing. But if you get really, really honed down on one particular thing, you'll see great things happen for you. Trust me, put this into practice, use this plan, download the free content plan template below as that will help you create your content plan basically and you can write in the types of content that you're going to be putting in there and put out as much content as possible but make sure that it's reasonable for you and you can stay consistent because consistency is so important so many people they start on youtube they do a few videos they see that it doesn't go how they wanted it to go and they give up and you know they're giving up too early they're giving up too early you need to give it like two years give it two years <laughs> put out videos consistently for two years three years even sometimes like keep on just keep on putting stuff out and then eventually youtube will be like okay this person's consistent they're consistently posting around this specific thing they're getting watch time around it people like this sort of stuff let's promote them a little bit more let's give them you know they got more authority now now when they put out a video around this thing it's going to be easier for them to rank just keep on doing it keep on putting out content and keep on going and you will see great results but if you give up you'll never see those results or you may see those results in like a year and then you'll be like wow i shouldn't have given up and then you'll have one video that has like fifty thousand views and then you'll be like mm, you know i should have made 20 other videos around the same subject and that would have been good stuff i want to prevent you from being at that point of looking back and having the hindsight i want to prevent you from getting to that point and i want you to just start doing what works right now and moving forward towards what you want to achieve. And I think that would be so valuable for you. So yeah, take the information, get involved. If you've got any other questions or tutorials or things you want me to cover about YouTube and that sort of stuff, leave the comment down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next YouTube guide. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment. Or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this I share with you